Hey guys, it's Di and I wanted to do a video today for my blog. I'm following up on a blog post that I did last year of my eight most worn and I wanted to go ahead and do a video when I did the update for that blog post as well. So I'm sharing it with my YouTube subscribers too. So this can be a tag video. This started out as a tag blog post so this can be a tag video as well if you would like to show your eight most worn items and I think things like this are a lot of fun to look back on and kind of see how they changed. So I'm going to look at my answers from last year and a couple of them are still the same actually but some of them are actually going to be different too. So my eight most worn items from this year. Uh, my number one is most worn hair product and what I said last year was this Matrix Essentials Solutionist Vital Control Hairspray and I still use this every day. I stockpiled it because they discontinued this and I'm down to my last can of it and it is is very very low I'm about out so um, I really I still use this every day and I really really like it but it's been discontinued so I'm gonna have to find something to take its place but I would say other than that my other most worn hair items are this Alterna bamboo shine I really like products that add shine to my hair and I usually spritz this on every day after I'm done styling and then I also put a smoothing cream in every day and I've been using this L'Oreal Smoothing Cream. So these are two products that would be my most worn hair products right now. And then the second one is Most Worn Lip Product. And my answer is the same this year as well. Last year I said Too Faced Lipstick and Free Love, which is a really nice pink color you can see here. This is actually about my fourth tube of it. And this one is one that has just barely started to be used. I always keep this in my makeup bag that goes in my purse and also in my makeup collection that stays upstairs and also peekaboo I wear that over the lipstick and I really love that uh, Too Faced has these cute little like rhinestones on the top and everything they're just too cute so uh, this is about like my third or fourth tube of this as well and same thing with this I keep this in my makeup bag and my purse and I also keep one upstairs so those are still some of my most worn colors but a new one is NARS cruising I still also I wear this one a lot this is a new one so this is a great nude color and I wear this with a number of different MAC uh, lip glasses over it and I really really like that so that's one of my new favorites so those would be my most worn lip products number three is most worn earrings and if you notice in my videos I'm usually wearing the same ones these ones that I'm wearing um, I wear a lot so it would be a toss-up between the ones that I have on and these from Tiffany these are just the um, Somerset knot, they're in sterling silver, and I really, really like that kind of knot design. And I bought these when I moved from Michigan because Somerset Collection is my favorite mall. I know this is cheesy. Somerset Collection is my favorite mall I've ever been to. I've been to a lot of malls in the United States, and I think it is the best mall ever. And so I got these Somerset earrings. Um, to kind of commemorate Somerset Collection Mall. If my husband watches this, he's going to be doubled over laughing right now. But those are some of my most worn earrings in addition to these that I have on. And these are just from Target. And then most worn shirt, I don't have one specific shirt, but like this style, like these loose drapey cardigans like I have on right here, I wear these all the time. I'm still kind of in that transition period after you have a baby where you're kind of sorting out what your body is going to end up looking like. And so these are great because they kind of give you a little bit of definition, but they kind of hide areas if you want them hidden. So I have this navy one, I have a black one, a gray one. I have a bunch of different colors, and I wear this type of like drapey cardigan thing a lot. Um, number five is Most Worn Nail Polish, and my Most Worn Nail Polish hands down is Zoya Reese. I love this color. It's just a very happy pink color. I wear it probably about once a week. I change my polish like every couple of days, um, just when it starts chipping on the edges. Um, I use that Seche Vite fast drying stuff, and that kind of shrinks up a little bit so usually about every three days I have to change my polish and probably about once every week and a half at least I'm wearing Zoya Reese. I love this color. It's just a very fun happy color and I wear it all seasons too. And then number six is Most Worn Shoes and if you watch my other videos you know I'm obsessed with Tory Burch right now. So one of my most worn pairs of shoes is 
the Tory Burch Riva style, and this is the black leather with the silver medallion on there. I just think that they're a really nice pair of classic flats. I usually wear dark colored jeans like every day, so they look really nice with jeans. And I also wear like all either silver tone jewelry or like my wedding sets platinum, so I tend to go for silver tone hardware. So I really liked that they finally made these with the silver tone medallions. So I wear those a lot. Those are some of my favorite shoes. And then most worn perfume. I kind of had to look through my perfume bottles and see what um, was kind of the furthest down. The Hello Kitty one I've worn a lot. Um, but I, then I've kind of been in a phase lately where I haven't really worn it as much. And then if it was favorite perfume, I was going to say Miss Dior Cherie. But what I do with that one is I actually don't wear it very much because I'm trying to like save it because they just changed the formula on it. So um, I'm trying to save that bottle and make it last as long as possible. So for most worn, after I look through everything, I think it would actually be Marc Jacobs Old Lola. I got the biggest bottle that they had um, in the store because Sephora was actually out of the medium size one. And I was kind of grumpy that day because I was like, oh, I don't get the biggest bottle. I never use perfumes that long. But you can see I've actually used like pretty much almost half of it. And I really, really like it. I'm still wearing it a lot. So I'd say that this is one of my most worn perfumes. And then last but definitely not least is most worn bag. And I have it right down here. And most recently, I would say my most worn bag would be the Louis Vuitton Tivoli. And it's just a really nice, fun bag. I love the shape. Uh, I love that it has a zipper. And I feel like it kind of has like a bonus like charm with it because the zipper has this little charm on it. So I just think it's like really, really cute. And I've kind of taken a break the past couple weeks. I'm using just a regular Coach bag right now. I'm using this Coach Alexander bag. But my most worn bag, hands down, for the past couple months has been the Tivoli. So I'll go ahead and show that to you. This is what it looks like. I just really, really like the way that it looks on my shoulder. And I just think that it's a really, really fun bag. So thanks for watching. And hopefully you can share your eight most worn things as well. This is a part of a blog post that I'm following up from last year. So if you're on a YouTube subscriber and this is the first time seeing this, thanks for watching. And hope everyone has a great day.